Hi, Richard from Surpworks here, and here's a quick video about how to extract and see a password from the FileZilla FTP client. So I'm just inside of FileZilla here, and I'm going to click on the Site Manager icon up here and show you how to extract this site's FTP password, which you can't reveal here in this window. So I'm going to close the Site Manager, click up here on File in the top left, and then select Export. It then gives me this pop-up window with a couple of options. You just want to choose this first one, Export Site Manager Entries, and then click OK. Now pay attention to where you're exporting it to, of course, so you can easily find it. And now that I've exported it, I'm just going to open that folder, and you can see the FileZilla export file in here. Now just open this file using Notepad, and you can now see all of my FileZilla FTP site login details are in here. Now, my file is huge, so I'm just going to press Control f or Command-F if you're on a Mac, and I'm going to search for the site name here that I'm trying to extract the password for. And now you can see it's found that snippet of text that has that site name in it. So within this little section of code here, I can simply look for the password section to find the encoded password. But this password that I found here still isn't the real password, or it still isn't a password I can give to someone because it still has the Base64 encoding applied to it. So I'm just going to copy that password here by copying everything in between these tags. And then I'm going to hop over to Google and search for decode base64 like I've done here. And just click on any one of these first sites here. And I'm going to just paste that encoded password into this first field and then simply press decode. And now I've revealed the true FTP password for that site. Now once you've done that a couple of times, you'll see it's much quicker than having to create a new FTP account just so you can give someone else those password details. Now you also really wouldn't want to leave a file like this on your computer as it has all of those site login details on it. So I just suggest you delete it. But in saying that, I've also got a really nice stealthy bonus tip for you whenever it comes to storing any sensitive information on your computer. Technically, if you got hacked, an intruder would have access to all of your site's login details in this file. So to prevent this from happening or whenever you want to store really sensitive information on your machine, it should be encrypted with 128 or 256-bit encryption. Now, a fantastic tool that I use for that is called AxeCrypt, and you can see in my folder here that this original FileZilla export file I've created has been encrypted with that 256-bit encryption. So technically, I could share this file with anyone, and they, they'd never be able to open it or read it unless they could unlock it with my secret password key. So I'll just demonstrate for you how easy that is to do by right-clicking on this other FileZilla export file. And you can see, because I have AxeCrypt installed, I can just select Encrypt, and it's now encrypting that file and making it absolutely unreadable to any hackers or anyone else. Now, I could easily upload all of these login details to Dropbox or Google Drive if I wanted to, and even if the hackers managed to penetrate the cloud storage there, that this file would still be safe and completely unreadable without my secret unlock key. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.